This is the one. What is going on boys, as you'll know, Slime Language 2 just dropped. Weezy has gone crazy with the production and some of the features are absolutely insane. Let me know down below which tracks are your favourite of the project and yeah, let's get into it. So I already have the melody pre-made here. It can look like a little daunting seeing it as a finished project, but yeah, I'll break it down step by step. So I started off in contact with Session Horns pulled up, just laid down this pattern. Simple randomizer velocities. In terms of effects, just a reverb, echo boy with the distorted double preset, turned down to a quarter because before it was like this. An EQ just to cut out some highs and lows, and another EQ doing absolutely f before effects, after effects. Next, I added a Malik Flux. I used the marimba. It mainly just follows the chords and has this little light melody afterwards. So the effects for this, I just added a reverb and an EQ. Next, I added this uh, Nami one shot called Synth Bubbles. Yeah, just put it on the one. Didn't affect that in any way, just an EQ. I wanted to add more mid range after that, so I added a brass pedal board following the chords again. So yeah, in terms of effects on this one, I have a kickstart just to side chain it, give it that pulsing effect. Fruity flanges just to make it move a little bit. And an EQ. Next, I did another Coupe the Truth one shot. This Adrian Delay pluck pedal board just plays as more of an accent. And the same on the other half. Just an Echo Boy, Double Room, Chorus and an EQ. Even more one shots. For this one, I had a little altar boy just up in the form to make it a little more high pitched. Without the little altar boy, it sounds like this. And with a reverb, a flanger, an echo boy with the clean ping pong preset, and an EQ just to box out the frequencies. Next, I added another one shot and yeah, just accent in the chord. Just an EQ on this one for effect. Another just accent. This melody looks complex because it's mainly just accents like one hits coming in, just like this one. Effects for this one, another Echo Boy, psychedelic vocal slap. Flanger, chorus, EQ, same as usual, really. Next, I added a Philharmonic. I used the violin staccato preset. And yeah, just sort of arpeggiated the chord. Pre effects, it sounds like this. So I have a CLA 76 just to make it louder. Chorus, an effect rack with the Memory Man preset, which is what gives it that long lasting delay and an EQ. After that, I rendered them all out. To the trumpets, I added a little volume automation. And apart from that, I have all the sounds playing the exact same. So the main part of the sample sounds like this. Then for the B section, everything is the exact same, except I took the vocal out. As you'll notice, the uh, violin staccatos are pitched down and chopped this section out. And with the chopped out section, I made it unique and reversed it. Sounds a lot better in the whole context. So that bits together sounds like this. For the last section, I added an automation EQ for the trumpet just to cut out more highs. I might use it in like a verse or a pre-hook part. So the melody is pretty simple. It is a lot of uh, one shots just bouncing off each other and effects mainly. So I'm gonna render this out and then get to the wheezy drums. What I'm going to do with this sample is stretch it, put it on stretch mode and speed it up. So I'll go into my drum collection. And the first thing you want to use when it comes to Wheezy drums is the Wheezy 808. So go into one third step for this one and then have them coming up like this.
and then we'll just go back to the main pattern. I pitched the melody down one just because the 808 was a little high. Now with the 808 pattern, gonna make it super bouncy, not just a simple two step. Pace this over and then change the second half. So I have the open hat hay on the one. Get some perks in here. Add this if you're reading this snare. Add some bounce snares now. So whilst I have this bit done, what I'm gonna do now is make a B part and just switch the pattern up totally. This is gonna be like some Drake coming in type shit. Now I'm going to find the hardest snare possible as that snare Weezy uses in a couple of tracks. He's stupid. Oh, this is the one. I had a kick in here. Add some of the same drums as last time. This is over. So this beat needs a lot of leveling out and arranging, so I'm going to get to that now. So I want this 808 to stand out a little more in the second half of the track. I'm going to add a decapitator from Sound Toys. Like that. So the arrangement I have for this track is I have just the star intro. Normal drums into his pre chorus slash next verse. So that is a little like cool style beat I would do for Young Thug on Slime Language 2. Something that's definitely going to have featured for maybe like a little baby, Annie Drake, as well as Thug. So please like and subscribe if you have enjoyed and follow me on social media. The links will be in the description and I'll catch you in the next video.